Hello, people. Good evening. Hello, Isabel. Good evening. Oh, Hello. First time. Isabel. I said Isabel. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> first time. And first, last. first time I say it naturally. Uh, yes. <laughs> Spontaneously. Spontaneously. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? I am fine. A little tired yeah you do just you sound tired by the way mm -hmm. oh, okay yeah. all right so hello Elenison. hello teacher how are you i'm very well thank you how do you feel oh great great because uh today it was my day off and oh. tomorrow and sunday so i'm glad <laughs> yeah I, i can i can see it in your face <laughs> very happy yeah you he reflects he reflects uh, happiness on the face uh, right <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah sometimes it's like hello Maria Isabel. good evening hello good evening <laughs> okay hi Hilmar. hi Hilmar. are you there Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um, very good, teacher. Oh, very nice. Good to know. Hello, Blanca. Um, so Sorry. Hello, teacher. Sorry, Hilma. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Sorry, Hilma. Were you about to say something? You want to say something? No, no. All right, no. He's saying no. Good evening, Blanca. Sorry. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, very good. Because it's Friday now. Yes, it's Friday. <laughs> literally, it's Friday and the body knows it, right? <laughs> literally, but it's not literal. Algunos dicen es viernes y el cuerpo lo, lo sabe, but for different purposes, right? Maybe uh, because you need to rest. Maybe because you are going out. I don't know, for different reasons, okay? Let me, let me check what's up because somebody is texting here that que no pueden entrar, but they can't get in. Somebody saying that it's impossible to get in. Le pueden, tienen el enlace a la mano ustedes por ahí que se lo compartan al, ahí al grupo. Tal vez es el enlace que tienen. Bueno, ahí lo mandaron de último, ¿verdad? Me parece. Este día lo enviaron. Ya, yeah, it's true. Ahorita se lo voy a enviar. Ya lo reenvía por ahí. Ok. I'm sorry about that. Ok, so I have more. Oh my goodness. Ahora sí me. Veo que entre ayer y hoy hay bien poquitos conectado, conectados. I see few people connected. Uh, uh, early, right? Temprano. Después se agregan los demás, pero temprano veo bien poquitos conectados. ¿Será que porque ya son los últimos días? Eh, no, lo que sucede es que el. Yo lo que he podido percibir, no sé, los demás compañeros, que después del 15 y el 30, como los siguientes días, se hacen unos tráficos oh, exagerados. Es because of Entonces, traffic. Maybe it's because sí. it's payday, maybe. Eh, sí, pero ayer estaba lleno también. Oh my goodness. Maybe that's the reason, sí. right? Sí. Yo siempre veo que es hay pago y es como que todo, todo el mundo saca su yeah. carro, su... It's crazy. When it's yeah. baby, it's, even in San Miguel or Morazán, when it's, I mean, Morazán is a small where I live. Uh, uh, but even when it's payday, it's crazy. Believe me, it's crazy. The traffic is, yeah. it's crazy. Um, yeah. Yes, eh, en San Salvador igual. It's worst. Sorry. It's worst. I know, es peor, it's worst. Sí. Yeah. Okay, so let's start then. Anyways, I have to pass the attendance, okay? So let me pass the attendance. Mm -hmm. Aida? 
Blanca? Present. Carlos? Present. Very good. Ready, Carlos? Yes. Listo. Ready? Yes. Very good. Claudia? Ellen Nielsen? Present teacher. Very good. Gilmar? Present teacher. Very nice. Irma? Present teacher. Great. Javier? Present teacher. Excellent. Jamie? Jamie? Present. Okay, very good. Present. No le vimos ayer, Jamie. Carla? Sí, tuve una problemita. Okay, yeah. entiendo. I understand. Carla? Carla? She was connected, I think. Maria? Oh my goodness. Present. Again. I'm sorry. Again. 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 Mario? Again. Present. <laughs> Once again. Marvin? Present. Okay. Rafael? Rafa, he's not connected yet. Okay. Robinson? Not connected yet. Okay. Salma? Salma? She's not connected yet. Okay. Robinson is not connected, right? Uh, okay. Santos? Sara? Present teacher. Ayer no vimos a Sara tampoco, ¿verdad? We didn't see Sara yesterday. No. <laughs> Wendy? Yeah. Wendy? Present teacher. Ah, para que vean que los tengo bien controlados. En la, para lo que están y lo que no están en la clase, ¿verdad? Refiriéndose a eso, ¿ok? Con, cuando digo controlado, refiriéndome a la clase. ¿Ok? Talking about the class. Ok, let's see, Liz. Present teacher. Very good. And Vanessa. Present teacher. Awesome. Very good. Uh, so welcome to this class. Today is Friday, I know. And um, well, basically, today is class number 19, right? So on Monday, yes. we finish module two. El lunes terminamos el módulo dos. Y ahora sí ya les enviaron la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿verdad? Ya pude verlo por ahí. I could see it. Yes. Yes, okay. this day. Ok, recuerden la instrucción de ayer. Yes. No hagan la encuesta. Lo vamos a hacer este lunes, ¿ok? Don't touch. <laughs> please, ok, please. Ok, uh, so then uh, let's start. Uh, well, yesterday, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm a little forgetful. Soy un poco olvidado. What did you study yesterday? ¿Qué vimos ayer? What did you study yesterday? I, I forgot. I totally forgot. Olvidé totalmente. I totally forgot. Help me, please. We, we uh, studied uh, good light. I good light. Good. Exactly. We studied use. the use of good light. Good For light. what? For what purpose? For what purpose? Uh, to report some. <gasps> to make. To report. To make. Uh, to make. Re, re to make Quest. requests that's right to make requests or offers is that right but we focus mainly on requests okay nos enfocamos un poquito okay. en, en requests solicitudes okay so it's like, like for example uh, when you have a problem with something with equipment and then um you want to request something about that okay imagine i have a yes. problem with the cell phone so, and then you say, I, I would like to check email right now. So you're like making a request indirectly, okay? So yes. you say, I would like to, to check Instagram. I would like to call my clients, okay? Yeah, so you are saying indirectly, yes. repair my phone, okay? Indirectly, you are saying, repair my phone, okay? Indirectamente, okay. están diciendo, reparen mi celular, okay? So that's yes. why it's a request. Por eso se vuelve una request, okay? Good. Uh, mm -hmm. So basically, we started uh, that. Básicamente, estudiamos un poco acerca de eso, okay? Yeah. And you wrote some sentences about that, right? Hicieron algo con eso. Okay, so uh, for today, 
I remember at the end of the class yesterday, al final de la clase ayer, you answered some questions, right? About printers. Do you remember? You read yes. some information about printers. Yes. And then you yes. answered some questions at the end. Contestaron unas preguntas. You answered some questions, okay? Now listen, okay. uh, we are going to the same text. Vamos a ir al mismo eh, párrafo o al mismo artículo, the same article. Y esta vez nos vamos a enfocar un poco en pronunciación. We'll focus a little bit on pronunciation, okay? So I will pronounce twice for you. Se lo voy a pronunciar dos veces y luego ustedes van a hacer una pequeña práctica, okay? De acuerdo? Agree? Agree. Okay. Please pay attention carefully to the pronunciation, okay? Pongamos atención cuidadosamente. Pay attention carefully to the pronunciation. Are you ready? ¿Están listos? Yes. yes. Yes, okay, so please pay attention. Color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps in other pages where, where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since, the, since they use two ink cartridges, one color, and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. operate. Resolution, printer resolution. The sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch. DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Que es, that is, que es, what? Dots per inch, verdad, dijimos. Okay, let's carry on, continuemos. Okay, hold on a second. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print, print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Okay, listen again, please. Se lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande para que vayan siguiendo bien la lectura. Y ahí lo voy a ir moviendo, okay? I will move it a little bit. Okay, let's start. Hold on a second. Color, okay, let's begin. Color, color is important. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps in other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printer resolution, the sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch, DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI, speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six chips per minute. Color printing, printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory, for example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Expanded. 
Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Very good. So um, this is the pronunciation for this. It's on page 44. It's in a página 44. It's on page 44. Okay. Now listen, uh, we will take a moment to pronounce. Okay, vamos a tomar un momento para pronunciar. Take turns, please. Tomen turnos, okay? Si alguien dice color, la parte de color, el otro dice la parte de resolution. Y van en ese orden, okay? Take turns, tomen turnos. Y luego el que empezó con color, ahora va con resolution, okay? Y cambian, cambian turnos para que pronuncien todo el párrafo, okay? So you pronounce all the paragraph. So we will work in pairs or small groups, okay? Vamos a trabajar en parejas o en grupos pequeños. Sorry, it's only pronunciation, okay? okay? Any question? O alguna palabra que se le dificulte pronunciar? Lo hacemos ahorita. We do it now. One word that is hard or difficult for you to, to pronounce. Alguna palabra que se le dificulte pronunciar? Teacher. Yo. Yeah. Eh, uh, when the you is you is to ink cartridge, no sé. Oh, they use two ink cartridges, okay? They Thank use two ink cartridges. Ese cartucho says cartridges. Cartridges. Yes, Cartridge. cartridges. 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 Cartridge. Yes. Anyone else? Alguien más? Anyone else? Uh, in resolution, and it's usually measures. Yes. Measured. Uh -huh. Measure. It's usually measured. Measure. Measured. Measured. Yes. Measure. It's usually measured in dots per inch. Measured. Measured. Okay. Any other word? Alguna otra palabra? Measure. Here you say sufficient. Okay. Sufficient. Say purposes. 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 Exactly. Purposes. Purpose. Here you say expensive. Que es caro. Okay. Expensive. Operate. 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 Expensive to operate. 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 It becomes two syllable operate. words. Ajá, se vuelve dos sílabas. Operate. 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 Yeah. Here you say replaced. Yeah. Reemplazado. Okay. Yeah. Replaced. <laughs> replaced pages 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 in, inexpensive in, yeah in in memory in which the printer treats okay treats you say treats 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 yeah this is images imágenes images images treats. Images, all right? La pronunciación de imágenes is images, okay? Vamos a memory. Maybe he will find something new. Vamos a ver si hay algo aquí en memory. Amount. Memories. Cantidades, amount. Amount of memory. Amount. Amount, amount, amount of, of memory. memory. Amount of memory. Truth. Expanded, aquí. Expandida. Expanded. Expanded. Expand. Expanded. 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 Minimum, you say minimum amount. Minimum. Minimum amount of memory. Okay. All right. I think that's that's enough, right? Uh, amount of memory is health fuel or commerce. Amount of memory. Uh -huh. Is health fuel or como helpful helpful a uh, helpful yeah uh, the helpful. minimum amount amount of memory is helpful and faster okay helpful is útil, what is right? this is helpful teacher util ah uh, util ah okay util. Y más ah, rápido. Okay. Uh -huh. thank you helpful and faster very good uh, so uh, this is on page 44 eso está en la página 44 is on page 40 Four. So, tomemos turnos entonces para ir pronunciando párrafo, un párrafo uno, un párrafo el otro. Así, ok. Take turns, please. Toman turnos, ok. Ya. Yeah. 
Very good. So we'll make small groups. Vamos a hacer grupos pequeños. Okay, we'll make small groups. Para que todos pronuncien. So everybody has the chance to pronounce. Okay, let's go and practice. Ten minutes. Well, seven minutes for practice. Okay, like seven or ten minutes to practice. Okay, who start? You. Okay, I'm going to, voy a leer el primero y si gustan eh, luego nos turnamos con los otros. Voy a ver. Ahorita. Bye. Espérame que no veo. Ah, okay. Color. Color is important for users who need to print page for presentations or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be said to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use to ink card, card, cartridges. One color and one black ink that need to be replaced Replace after a certain number of page. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of page will find a black and white printer shaper to operate. Okay. Next. Resolution. Printer resolution. The sharpen of text and imaging on paper is usually measured in those with each DPE most inefficient printer. Probably some finds resolution for for most purpose at 300 dpi speed it you do is you do much print, printing the speed of the printer become important in inexpensive in print in print in printer print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color print printing is slow, more expensive. Printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster. When printing out page with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. image. Okay. Color. <laughs> Color is important for users who need to print print page for presentation or map and other page where color is, is part of the information. Color printer can also be seen to print only in black and gray. Color printer are more expensive to operate since, since, since they, they use to in cartridges 
One color uh, and one black in that need to be reflect after a same thing. Nah, it comes okay, important. I, okay. Ahí está teacher, preguntémosle. Eh, teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia la palabra becomes? De, está en spin. En line? la primera línea. En color. En speed. Oh, speed. Ajá. Becomes. Dice, becomes important. Becomes. Ah, ok. Becomes ¿Y eso important. Qué es, teacher? Se, ¿Por qué? se hace importante o llega a ser importante. The, the meaning of become, el significado de become es llegar a ser o convertirse. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Okay. Es decir, se hace algo importante, se convierte en algo importante. Become something important. Mm -hmm. okay. ok. Gracias, teacher. Next fine side printer, printers print only about three to six, six per minute. Color printing is slower. More, more experienced printers are much faster. Okay. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of the memory. For example, one megabyte that can be spent be the, be the user having more that in minimum amount of the memory is helpful is helpful and faster when faster when print out paint with large magic magic or play or play with lie around then which does printer treat as a large image image Image. 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 Uh -huh. Y en plural sería images. All right. Images. Image. Yeah. Image. Image. Okay, teacher. Image. Image. Okay. Si quieres, tú com comenzamos al revés ahora, tú comienza con color. Okay, okay. Color. Color is important for use. Was new to pride the page for the presentation or the math in other face when a color is part part of the information color print color prints can also be also be said to print only only black and green color prints are more expensive to operation and size they use a two inch the cartridge, one color and color black e ink that need to be reclassed after a same time number of the page. User what done? I have an excessive net for color and what print print. I love all page will finish a black and white. Written uh, printer chirper so operate operate ¿verdad? ¿cómo se pronuncia operate? operación operate 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 gracias operar operate es operar operate operate gracias teacher resolution printer resolution the sharpest of text in image or paper is usually measured in dogs per inch DPE, DPA. DPI. Most, most in DPI. expense print. DPI. Most in expense print, print. Ah, DPI. 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 Most in expense. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? In expense. Inexpensive. Inexpensive. Inexpensive printers. Most inexpensive printer provides sufficient, sufficient resolution sufficient. for sufficient. sufficient 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 resolution for most under DPA. 
DPI. Okay, the speed. If you push a printer, the speed of the printer. Solution. For most purpose, at 600 DPI. Isabel, hoy va la next, la speed. Speed. Te, speed. Tenía ah, apagado. Tenía ah, apagado. Ah, 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 speed. Y ya estaba leyendo. Ah, bueno. Con el micrófono apagado. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. In expensive printer, print only about three to six ships per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printer are much faster. Hasta ahí, mamá. Mm -hmm. Spell. If you... Speed. Speed. Ay, speed, speed. If you do much printing, the spell of the printer because important in expense. Printers print only about three to six shares per minute. Color printing is slower, more expense. Printers are much faster. Are much faster, okay. Memory. Most printer comes with a small amount of memory. For example, no, uh -huh. okay. color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridge, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printer resolution, the sharpest of net and imaging on paper, is usually measured in dot, in dot per inch DPI. Most inexpensive printer provide sufficient, sufficient resolution for mass purpose at uh, 600 dpi. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important in expensive. Printer, printers print only about three to six chips per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory, for example, one megabyte, that can be expanded by, by the user. Having more than the minimum of a, amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Color. Color is important for users who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page where color impact in part of the information. Color printer can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate. Okay. 
Okay, everyone. Uh, so I hope everybody uh, had the chance to practice all the text, right? Because the idea was to pronounce all the text, okay? That's why I said, take turns. Por eso le dije, tomen turnos. That's why I said, take turns, okay? I want to listen to four uh, participants, okay? I want to listen to Javier. Uh, let me see here. Um, Marvin and two ladies, Liz and Sara, okay? So I said, uh, Marvin, Javier, Marvin, Liz and Sara, right? So I want to listen to you. Okay, um, Javier, you, st you start. Color. Javier, hello. Hello, Javier. I think he is, hello, Javier. Oh, I think he's calling. Okay, Marvin, you start. Color. Color, color, color is important for users who need to print page for presentation or map, maps and other page. Where color is part of the information, color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color print, printers are more expensive to operate on site they use two in cartridge on colors and one black ink. That need to be replaced after a certain numbers of page. Users who don't have a specific need for colors and who print a lot of page will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Okay, thank you, Marvin. Thank you very much. Uh, the pronunciation of this is since, since they since. use, since, since, for everybody, okay, para todos, since. Uh, they since. use two since, 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 two ink cartridges, okay, ink cartridges, ink, ink cartridges. cartridges for everybody, not only for Marvin, okay. Uh, this is certain, okay, certain, certain, yeah certain certain number of pages okay certain number of pages in in and this is pages in plural okay pages pages in plural pages 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 pages, mm -hmm. pages. pages. okay uh, thank you very much marvin now let's listen to a quien más le había dicho who, did I, who else did i say i forgot a ver, a quien más le había dicho, I forgot, se me olvidó totalmente, I forgot totally. A Rafa. A Javier. <laughs> I said Javier, but I mentioned two ladies too, también le dije a dos chicas, ¿quiénes eran? Who were the ladies? A Carlos. Carlos. No, ladies. A Liz. Carlos era. I said Liz, right? I said Liz, so I think. Okay, Liz, you continue with resolution. Okay. Resolution, printer resolution, the sharpness of the text and image on paper is usually measured in dots per inch DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purpose at 600 DPI. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much, Liz. That's very good. That's amazing. Now let's listen to the other lady. ¿Cuál fue la otra chica que le dije? Se me olvidó en realidad. I really forgot. Me, teacher. Okay, Sara, right? It was Sara, I think. All right. Uh, go ahead. Speed. Speed. If you do much pin, pin, tin, printing, printing, the, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing, printing is slower. 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 More, uh -huh. more expensive printers are much faster. Yeah, that's right. Okay, thank you very much, Sara. Now let's listen to, I don't know if Javier is ready. Javier, are you ready? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, so you go with memory. Most okay. printers. Okay. Most printer come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expand, expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when print out page with large images or table with lines around the which the printer treats as a large image. Okay, thank you very much, Javier. I appreciate your help. Thank you very much, okay? Now, please, everyone, let's go to reaction and let's give them a reaction. Le damos una reacción. We give uh, participants a reaction, please. So please go to reactions, everyone, and make a reaction, okay? Y den una reacción, give a reaction, sorry. Okay, uh, now let's continue then with the next part. In the next part, we have some, uh, some questions, right? So look, here we have some questions, yeah? And we have two, okay? And the questions are the following. Uh, for example, uh, do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? In Spanish is, alguna vez, ever. Do you ever, alguna vez te quejas about broken items, the artículos arruinados en tu lugar de trabajo. So do you ever complain about this? Alguna vez se quejan de eso, no me digan. You can say, yes, I do, or no, I don't, okay? You can say, yes, all right? Yes, I do. Or you can say, no, I don't. Okay, it's optional here. Good. Question number two. Do you ever feel complaint forms? Algunas veces llenas o completas formularios de quejas? Okay, yeah. Complaint form is a formulario de quejas, okay? So please uh, take a moment. If you, you, you need to say only yes, I do or no, I don't. Yes, I do or no, I don't. Solo eso vamos a responder a las dos preguntas. Yes, I do. For example, do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Yes, I do. Do you ever feel complaint forms? No, I don't. Yo no lo hago. No, I don't. Solo vamos a decir, yes, I do, si lo hacemos. No, I don't, si no lo hacemos, ¿ok? En ambas preguntas, in both questions, please. Question number one. Do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Is like... ¿Alguna vez te quejas de, de artículos arruinados en tu trabajo? Broken items at your workplace. Do you ever fill complaint forms? ¿Alguna vez llenas formularios de quejas? Do you ever fill complaint forms? Fill. Okay, fill is llenar. Completar. Teacher. And the first question, uh, complain is the same word that the, and the second one, do you ever feel complain? No, it's different. In number one, it's complain the... is a verb. And in number two, complain is a noun. Es un sustantivo oh, abajo okay. y arriba es un verbo. Do you ever complain? Okay. That's the okay. difference. Esa es la diferencia. Okay. That's the difference. What?
Are you ready? ¿Están listos? Are you ready? Solo vamos a poner yes I do or no I don't en las dos preguntas, ¿ok? Are you ready? I'm ready. You are ready. Ok, that's excellent. Yes. So, so. So, <laughs> so we have two questions, right? Let's see. Um, let's see quickly. I will select someone to ask the question, ¿ok? Voy a elegir a, voy a, elegir a alguien para hacerle las preguntas. And then, and then that someone will choose another someone, okay? Esa persona elegirá a alguien más y así vamos a llevar la cadenita, okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, try to choose people who are not your friends, okay? Please. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Sara. Sara, do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Yeah, I do. Do you ever feel complaint forms? No, I don't. No, I don't. That's not very common in El Salvador. Okay, thank you, Sara. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Sara. So please select somebody to ask the questions. Mm. Isabel. Okay, ask her. Okay. Isabel, oh. do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Yes, yes, I do. Do you ever feel complaints forms? No, I don't. Okay, thank you very much. That's very good. It's items, Sara. Items. Articulos, items. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you, Isabel and Sara. Okay, Isabel, select somebody, please, to ask the questions. Uh, Blanca. Okay, ask Blanca, please. Blanca, do you ever complain? about the broken iron, iron at your workplace? Yes, I do. Do you ever feel complaint form? Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay, Blanca and Isabel, thank you. Uh, Blanca, select someone, please. A boy, by preference. A boy, please. Okay, Rafael. Okay, ask Rafael the questions. Rafael. Do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Yes, I do. Do you ever feel, feel complaint forms? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Um, well, in this case, uh, for uh, question number two is like, uh, complaint forms are not very common in El Salvador, right? Yes, the yes, formularios de yeah. queja no son comunes. Acá. They're not very common. Maybe but sometimes Blanca they dijo, give yes. you a... Sorry? <laughs> but Blanca say, say yes. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it depends on the company, actually. Okay, okay it depends on the company. Okay, yes. thank you. All right, let's see. Um, who was the last one? ¿Quién fue la última en... O el último, perdón? Who was the Rafael. last? Rafael. Okay. Rafael, right? Yes. yes. Rafael, can you ask someone, please? ¿Puedes preguntar a alguien? Eh, Irma. Ok, ask Irma. Ok. Irma, do you ever complain about the broken aiding at your workplace? Yes, I do. Irma, do you ever feel complain for? Yes, I do. Okay, second person who feels complaint forms. Okay, yes. thank you very much, Irma. And <laughs> okay, uh, Irma, can you select another boy, please? Otro chico, can you select another boy, please? Uh, chico. Um, Javier. Javier, okay, ask Javier the questions. Do you, uh, Javier, do you ever complain about the being broken item at your workplace? No, I don't. Uh, do you ever feel complaint forming? Uh, no. <laughs> Nothing. You say no, I don't. The same, okay? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Irma <laughs> and Javier. <laughs> Let's listen to the last participation. Javier, select a lady, please. A lady. Ah, okay. Uh, 
Who? ¿Quién? Who? Uh, Claudia. Ok, ask Claudia the questions. Ok. Claudia, do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? No, I don't. No, I don't. Ok. Uh, do you ever fill complaint forms? No, I don't. Ok. okay. Yes, Javier. So. Ok, ok. Thank you very much. Very good. Uh, thank you for your uh, participation. Gracias por ofrecerse de voluntarios. Thank you for offering us volunteers. I appreciate that. Ok. I really appreciate that. Yo aprecio eso. I really appreciate that. Ok, thank you very much. Now, please, everybody, go to reactions and give your classmates a reaction. Vamos a reacciones y le vamos a dar una reacción a los compañeros, ok? So, please, give your classmates a reaction. I will give them some confetti, all right? Congratulations. Algunos han venido bien tacaños, no quieren dar emojis. They don't want to give emojis. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. Uh, so thank you for your uh, participation. Now let's go to the next activity. Uh, in the next activity, we have uh, a conversation, which is a little long. Es un poquito larga. It's a little long. Okay. Do you see the conversation? Se mira la conversación? Yes. No. Yes, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, this is my reporting. I mean, this is Maria Ochoa again reporting a problem, okay? So listen to the conversation carefully, please. Only listen. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send some with a complaint let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you, you are welcome. So this time let's listen and let's repeat with the microphone off. Vamos a repetir con el micrófono apagado. With the microphone off, please, okay? Pero quiero ver esas boquitas moviéndose. I want to see your mouth moving, okay? Let's start. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. Let's continue. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Okay, let's continue. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on. Mike, let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, so here we have two people, right? One person complaining and one person receiving the complaints, all right? Una persona quejándose y la otra recibiendo La queja, right? Okay, receiving the, the complaint. Who receives complaints? IT department. Los del departamento de tecnología, right? IT department. Information technology department. Okay, so do you have any doubts in pronunciation? ¿Tienen dudas en la pronunciación? Do you have doubts? No? I got a question, but... Yeah, what is it's it? Not, uh, it's not about... Uh, pronunciation yeah it's uh the meaning of the word yeah uh, what is it what it what it mean in no time in this context 
Oh, we can send, let, let me underline it here, okay? We can send uh, the new computer in no time. In no time is like- Yeah. Quickly, rápido. Quickly. Yeah, quickly, okay, that's right. Perfect. Podemos enviar una nueva computadora okay. rápidamente, quickly or fast, okay? Es, that, that is in no time, perfect. eso quiere decir in no time. Okay, y donde perfect. dice, hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. What is that? ¿Qué es eso? File a complaint. What is that? File a complaint. Yes, what is file a complaint? What is that? ¿Qué es eso? I need to file a complaint. Yeah. It's uh, like uh, terminar un archivo. Terminar un archivo. Mm -hmm. A una queja. Puede ser eh, enviar una queja. I need to file a complaint. Okay. O declarar okay. una queja. I think that that's like the meaning of that. File a complaint. It's to send a complaint. Mandar un documento con una queja, okay? To file a complaint. Very good. So the conversation is on page 45, okay? La conversación está en la página 45, page 45. So let's take another moment. Practice, but use your names. Aquí si traten de usar sus nombres. Try to use your names. For example, you say, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is... Ellen Nielsen, and then you say your name, right? And I am, and I need to file a complaint about my work. I'm sorry to hear the blah, blah, blah. So please use your names. Usen sus nombres, okay? Use your names, please. Okay? Okay? Yes? So please, when you practice, use your names. Cuando practiquen, usen sus nombres, por favor. Use your names, okay? So we will practice in... Let me see, I have 18 people connected. So we will practice in pairs, okay? Le voy a dar tres o cuatro minutos. Practiquen tanto como puedan. Practice as much as you can, please.
Good in, in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. And now I start. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Alma, and I need to find a complaint about my work terminal computer. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can say a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for calling the IT. Uh, IT. Yeah, IT. Yeah, IT. Teacher. Uh -huh. What happened? Eh, teacher, lo que pasa es que al comienzo de la, de la conversación aparece una IT, pero le decía, le preguntaba a Beatriz que... Es malo, si hay... Eva, es malo, pues, bien sabe, va. <risa> si era IT o si era eh, IT. IT. IT department. IT, IT department. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Yeah. Eh, 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 usted no me hace caso, me, no. no usted, usted me dijo que le preguntara. Bye. Dale. Bueno. Sería, eh, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I no, need to and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I am sorry to 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 gear. Okay. Here. Uh, please. Gear. Here. Como que here. lo dijeras con la J. Ajá. Uh -huh. Here. Ah. Okay. I am sorry to hear that. Please. Eh. Describe. Sí. The problem. It was very slow yesterday. And it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone, someone uh, with a complaint, uh -huh. a complaint uh, forms. We Form. can send a new, come on. Mm -hmm. A complaint no, no. form. Form. Con M al final. Form. Ah. Form. Form. Mm -hmm. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Pero dice Mario, no dice Mario. Teacher, eh, recibió mi mensaje. Mm, I haven't checked. Let me see. Teacher, soy Aida. Okay, let me check. <laughs> let me check here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sorry. I hadn't read it. No, no lo había leído. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, ahora cambiamos. Beatriz. ¿Qué fuiste, Beatriz? Hola. Cambiando. Okay, uh, very good. I could see everybody. Well, I, the groups I visited were practicing, right? And they did great. Okay, y lo estaban haciendo muy bien. They were doing uh, great. Good. So uh, after the attendance, we will listen to three pairs, okay? Después de pasar la asistencia, vamos a escuchar a tres parejas. We will listen to three 
pairs, ok, so please get ready, de los que no han participado, a eso vamos a elegir, ok, Aida. Oh, Present. Ok, ok, Aida, no problem. Uh, Blanca. Present. Carlos. Present. Claudia. Present, teacher. Very good. Ellen Nilsson. Present, teacher. Nice. Hilmar. Present, teacher. Very good. Irma. Present, teacher. Awesome. Javier. Present, teacher. Awesome, awesome. Jimmy. Present. Carla. Present, teacher. Tengo problemas con el Mm, I see. María. Present. Oh, entiendo. Solo con datos te conectas, Carla. También estoy con el de la con el interno del otro. Oh, el residencial. Okay. Okay. Mario. Dirá ese Isabel. Dije Isabel. Dirá ese Isabel. Yes. No. Soy María. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, ya dices. Isabel. Okay. I'm having real. I'm having serious problem problems. <laughs> I know, I see. <laughs> I try, I do my best, believe me. I try. Okay. Mario? Mario? He's not present. Marvin? Present. Rafael? Present. Robinson? Salma? Yeah. Present. Santos? Santos is not connected, right? No está conectado Santos, no, verdad? He's not connected. Sara? Present teacher. And Wendy? Present uh, teacher. Teacher? Yeah. Santos tonight, um, well, and they, they're working. He's um, working. But tonight they're working for finished facility uh, 9.30 or 9.45. Okay, thank you for informing uh, Rafa, thank you. Liz? Present teacher. And Vanessa, finally. Vanessa? She's connected but she doesn't respond. Okay, uh, yeah, but I see you, Vanessa. I see you are connected. Okay, uh, very good. Now let's continue. Uh, let's go to the next part and try to remember. Okay, listen. Try to remember information from the conversation. Okay, try to remember information from the conversation. Intentemos recordar información de la conversación. And about that, we have two questions, okay? Uh, question number one is, what expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? I repeat the question. What expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? ¿Qué expresión usa Mike para mostrar una solución en progreso? Mike. Uh, I am sorry. Yes. I am sorry to hear that. No. Continue. Oh, no. <laughs> I am hearing, and I am sorry to hear that. Um, I I don't remember. <laughs> you, you are not so sure. No está tan, no está tan segura. You are not no, so no sure. Estoy and what about the others? The uh, question is? Uh, describe the problems. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Isabel. Uh, okay. So the question is, what expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? ¿Qué expresión usa Mike para mostrar una solución en progreso? A complaint form. A complaint form. Sorry? A complaint Send. form. Send someone. I'm sorry. Okay, a complaint form. That's right. He uses, let me send someone with a complaint Form. Ok, déjame enviar a alguien con un formulario de quejas. Let me send someone with a complaint 
form. Esa es la expresión que usa. Okay, let me send someone um, with a complaint form. form. Okay, second question, segunda pregunta. What seems to be the problem with the computer? ¿Cuál parece ser el problema de la computadora? What seems to be the problem with the computer? It's very slow. Sorry? Um, it's very slow. Okay, very good. So and, the complaint is that and, the computer and it, was. And it didn't turn on. Was very slow and it didn't turn on. Estaba muy lenta y tampoco encendió hoy. Ayer estaba lenta, ¿verdad? Y hoy no encendió. Okay, and it didn't turn on and it didn't turn on today. Okay. Didn't um, se usa para indicar negativo en pasado, okay? It didn't turn on today. today. Very good. Thank you for helping me. Gracias por su ayuda. Thank you for your help. And now let's go to the next activity. Now pay attention carefully here. Aquí sí pongamos muchísima atención. Yo sé que están poniendo atención, pero aquí pongamos más atención todavía, enfoquémonos más todavía, okay? Listen. You are going to get in trios. What is a trio? It's a group of three. So you are going to get in trios, all right? Write down two more reasons to file a complaint. Va a escribir dos razones más para, okay, uh, para enviar o para declarar una queja, okay, para dar una queja. Write, write the name of the other piece of equipment at the center. Aquí en esta parte, in this part, va a escribir otro equipo, another piece of equipment and the possible complaints here y las posibles quejas acá. For example, for number one is the printer is the, the equipment, right? Es el equipo. Problem, it doesn't turn on. O queja, no enciende. It, didn't, mm -hmm. it doesn't turn on. What can be a pro, another problem with the printer? ¿Qué puede ser otro problema con la impresora? The paper is stuck. Okay, very good. So another complaint is the paper is stuck. Another complaint? Tuning noise. Yes, Sorry? Sorry? Uh, funny noise. It ma it's making a funny noise, all right? It's making a funny noise. Está haciendo un sonido divertido, or a strange noise, un sonido raro, okay? Very good. Aquí en esta parte de aquí, ustedes van a escribir el artículo o el equipo y van a escribir las quejas, the, the, the complaints, all right? ¿Se entiende qué van a hacer? Is it clear what you have to do? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. yes. So how we, how are we going to work? ¿Cómo vamos a trabajar? In, in trios, right? You are going to work in trios. All right. That's the instruction. Work in trios and complete the, the information. Okay. Uh, this information is on page number uh, 45. Okay. Esto está en la página 45. It's on page 40. Five. So let's five. work in trios. Ya, solo déjeme ver cuántos tengo, okay? One, two, three, five, ten, fourteen, eighteen. Okay, vamos a hacer tres equipos por los que no están participando, okay? Three groups for the ones who are not participating. Okay. Let me see here. Five groups, sorry. Cinco grupos quise decir. I meant five groups. Okay, let's go and do the activity. Solo completen la información, just complete the information, okay? Work together and help each other. Trabajen juntos y ayúdense mutuamente. Help each other. ¿Cuál va a ser el artículo? ¿Cuál va a ser el equipo? ¿Qué es el equipo? No sé, no me acuerdo cómo es que era el equipo. Group. 
no, este equipo es que vamos a describir, pues. O una sea, una, una, una computadora. Una computadora. Computer. Ok. Uh, eh, Podemos poner no, 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 inter no internet access. Ok. Internet no, sé. no access, ¿verdad? Sí. Internet. Internet access. Y no frozen, tiene acceso. frozen screen. Internet. Frozen Internet dijo Screen Screen La 3 um, sería pantalla No, no eh, ser, sí, eso, sí, sería pantalla congelada Frozen Screen Y la otra sería un Con mi No, y sí Yes Máquina un rico un ruido gracioso un ruido gracioso un ¿Sí? ruido extraño funny 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 es un funny no no es funny funny no, noises funny noise funny noise a funny noise it makes a funny noise, a funny noise. hace un ruido divertido or strange is extraño right Depende del que quieran okay. usar. Strange is extraño. Funny is oh. divertido. Funny. Um, no. Funny teacher, eh, teacher, ¿cuál fue la, la... Es decir, ¿qué, qué uso antes de decir funny noise? It makes. Or it's making. Pueden decir it's making en presente, it's making. Ah, okay. en presente yeah. continuo. In present continuous. It's making, it's making a funny noise. It's making, it's making a funny noise. noise. Okay. Este. Wendy. El otro. Entonces, entonces, el otro, Wendy. O Rafa. Yes. Sería. No, o, como, no, I have, no, no I have no. Internet access. Sí. Y caja de coros no funciona. Es caja es como cash, box, boxing, cash box, box, cash box, cash box, the cash box, cash box doesn't, box. doesn't work. The cash box Sería. doesn't work. Cash. The cash box, box. cash box. Doesn't work, uh -huh. does not work. No funciona, does not work. Does it work? Work, como trabajar, work. Does work it. is funcionar también, ¿ok? Work. En el centro del cuadrito van a poner cash bags, si ese es el artículo que van a elegir, ¿ok? Solo es uno y van a escribir tres problemas alrededor según el cuadrito, ¿ok? Sí, eh, teacher, la hemos hecho sobre la computadora, por eso habíamos puesto eh, Is Mike and Funny Noise. Ya, yeah, it's ok, está bien, no, no, el equipo ustedes lo eligen. Solo que según el cuadrito van a escribir tres posibles. Oh, ajá, posible. sorry. Yes. Tres posibles quejas, three possible complaints, ok. Y okay? you have one here, aquí ya tienen uno oh. en el printer. Luego yes. arriba acá el otro equipo. Y las tres posibles cajas, eh, quejas, perdón, alrededor. The three possible complaints around the, the equipment, alrededor del equipo. Okay. Y eso sobre la computadora, podemos poner Is my a funny noise? Uh, it's making a funny noise, you can put. Vega, uh, uh, funny note, uh, uh, is frozen screen, uh, not, no internet access. No internet access, it's okay. Teacher, ahí no, yo por ejemplo, bueno, la había formulado mal, pero ahí no puedo utilizar yo, I have no internet access, no. Yes, yes, you can say that. 
Yeah, you can say that. Se puede. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's a, it's a chart. It's a como not, not internet access. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Rafael. Sí. En el Sprinter tenemos el dozen en the tour on y the paper stocker y stock y la otra. Yo en el Sprinter puse the paper is not y la otra cuál ponemos poner. No enciende. Ah ya estaba. Y es la primera. Es el dozen tour on no enciende. Ajá. Y a la otra, la otra es que tiene papel atascado, paper stock. Ajá, yo puse, ajá, de paper stock, Epa. Uh -huh. Falta una. Falta una. ¿Cómo decimos no tiene tinta? No tiene el cartucho. No tiene. Teacher. Hello. Solo teníamos que hacer uno más, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, yes, one more equipment y dos complaints para el printer. Más. Uh -huh. yeah, according to the chart, de acuerdo al cuadrito que estaba ahí. Uh -huh. So, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Oh, excellent. Very good. You're super efficient. Yes. Jamie is... <laughs> ah, Jamie is the one. Uh -huh. Yes. He's the efficient person. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Just let me visit another group and then we go. Okay. <laughs> Mantengan esa información todos. Escríbanla. Todas. Sí, todas. Okay. Escríbanla. Porque ya la vamos a usar para otra actividad. Okay. We will use it okay. for another uh, activity. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Wendy. Hola. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría esa? La thread de printer. Sería como este no tiene tinta, sería has no ink. Pero estará bien, hacemos eso, está bien. Teacher, eh. No tiene tinta, se pronuncia no has can, no ink. It has no ink. Yeah, you can say that. It has, has no a, ink. It has no ink. It has no ink. Okay. Yes. Okay. Luego. In has no no ink no no you say no in this case no. it has no ink quiero ver three or three Trios. No. Trios. 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 Casi Spanish. Mm -hmm. sí. Están a punto de terminar o ya terminaron? Are you about to finish or you finished? Finish. You finish. Okay, finish. Okay, let's go then. Vámonos entonces. Let's go. Okay.
Okay, uh, well, I think everybody finished, right? Todos terminaron? Did everybody finish? Yes? Yes. Yes, very good. Now listen, we are going to use this information in another activity. Ya vamos a usar esta información en otra actividad. Todos la copiaron, ¿verdad? Did everybody write it? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay. It could be either on your notebook or the material. Podría haber sido en su cuaderno o en su material si tienen fotocopia. No hay problema. There's no problem. Okay, now listen, uh, here in the last part of today's class, para la última parte de la clase de hoy, tenemos, uh, we have a complaint form. Tenemos un formulario de quejas. I have a question for everybody. Uh, do you have complaint forms in your work, in your workplace? Tienen formulario de quejas en su lugar de trabajo, in your workplace? Do you have any uh, form? In my work, we don't have. You don't have any form, okay, for complaints. No. And the others, do you have a complaint form in your workplace? Hoja de quejas, okay, could be, right? Yeah, un formulario de quejas, a form. So do you have this in your work? Tienen de esto en su trabajo? In my no. work, we have an evaluation for the supervisor. And then we can write uh, some suggestions. Suggestions. Yes, for the supervisors. Very interesting. Excellent. I like it. And what about the others? For the mass? No, there's no uh, there's no complaint form in your work, or yes? Uh, in my yes. work. Javier and then Irma, okay? Okay, Javier, in what? my work, in my work is the uh, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice esta? Nosotros le, le, le decimos a la, a la encargada de compras y ella gestiona con el project manager para, ah. para aprobación. Uh -huh. Ok, uh, you can say we notify. We notify to the person in charge of purchases. Ok, le ah. notificamos a ah, la okay. persona a cargo de compras. We notify to the person in charge of purchases. Ok. Ah, okay. And she uh, and she requests right permission. Yes, okay? yes, sure. And she requests but the form. It, sorry. Yes, uh, Isabel. But in, in another case, uh, is como requisición de compras. Mm. Uh, how do you? How but, yeah. uh, can I say? Yeah, but this is different because a complaint form is like. I mean, you, you, you didn't like something and then you complained, okay? Algo no gustó oh, y, okay. y está en la queja. So that's, it's different, okay? It's very different. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Uh, Irma, uh, you want to participate? Yes, in my world, other the service in system. Can you repeat, please? In my world, order the service in system. Ah, you organize the services in there? In the system. system. And if in there system. is a complaint, si hay una queja, if there is a complaint, what do you do? ¿Qué hacen? Um, llenamos una orden de servicio. Ah, you feel a service mm. order. You feel a service mm. order. What about the others? If there is a complaint in the company, how do you manage it? ¿Cómo manejan eso? How do you manage that? Um, on orden de servicio, digamos, reclamos de artículos de los clientes. Si les fallan mm. los artículos. Okay, I understand. Very good. Thank you, Irma. What about okay. the others? Y los demás? ¿Qué hay de los demás? What about the others? Okay. 
you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep mm. or, or you you are sleeping <laughs> no uh, because you say what about the others uh, or the others and uh, i i am sir sleeping <laughs> sleeping no no don't say that please not yet not the time not the time okay very good so no complaints in your workplace no hay quejas en su trabajo no complaints in your workplace oh my goodness no. You have the perfect job. No complaints? No. Or yes? No. Okay, very good. That's no, my word now. I really like it. Excellent. Okay. Now, let me show you this form. Okay. So, we have this form as an example. We have this complaint form. This is a template. Okay. A template for a complaint form. This is una plantilla de un formulario de quejas. Okay. Template. A complaint form template, a template. Good. So in this case, we have first, if you are going to complain for something, si se van a quejar por algo que no les sirve, un artículo que tienen y no les sirve, um, puede ser una laptop, could be a laptop, a cell phone, a car, I don't know, podría ser cualquier artículo, any item, okay? So first, you put the name of the complainant. That means, La persona que se queja, name of the complainant, okay? So I can write, for example, name of the complainant, Bernardo Martinez. So Isabel Cornejo, Irma Molina, right? Date, van a poner la fecha de hoy. You put today's date. So today's day is uh, February 18th, right? February 18th, yes. 2022, for example, okay? 2022. Home phone number. Si tiene teléfono de casa, home phone number. Work phone number, el, de la, el del trabajo. Fax number, si tienen fax todavía o si usa, solo usan correo electrónico ya, no, ne, no necesitan escribir el fax number. Okay? Street address, la dirección de la calle. City, esto es de su trabajo, right? It's about your work. Okay? City and your email address, email. correo electrónico. Your email address, correo electrónico. And finally, finalmente, finally, uh, here, you need to write the complaint information, la información de la queja. So describe the nature of the complaint. Identify the equipment in question and problem, que es lo que acaban de hacer arriba, okay? So if you have the printer, for example, you say, um, I have a problem with the printer. You can say, for example, I have, this is only one example. Este es solo un ejemplo, okay? I have a problem with my printer. Aquí lo voy a hacer así de grande, pero ustedes lo van a hacer obviamente más pequeño, ¿verdad? I have a problem with my printer. Uh, you can say maybe it it doesn't it doesn't uh, turn on, for example. No enciende. It doesn't turn. On, y continúan con los demás problemas, ¿ok? Lo van a hacer en forma de párrafo. Un párrafo va seguido, no son oraciones. Lo van a hacer en forma de párrafo. Son okay. dos problemas, ¿verdad? Los que van a escribir, two problems. Los que tenían en la actividad anterior, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? Ok. This is on page 46. Está en la página, esto está en la página 42. Page 40, 46, perdón. Let me check. Le dije 42, ¿verdad? 46. 46. 46. This is on page 46. Está en la página 46. Ok, page 46. Six. El párrafo que van a hacer es de la información que ya tienen ahorita, de la actividad anterior, ok? With the two items okay. and the complaints. Con los dos artículos y las quejas que, que escribieron. Uh, it's not necessary to fill the 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 another um, uh, datos. ¿Cómo se dice? The, the another data. The other information. Which information? Information. information? Yes. Uh, uh, name of the company, date, home phone number, work phone number. Uh, if you don't have, paraphone. if you don't have work phone number, it's okay. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. Pero la información que necesitan sí escríbanla por favor. 
this writer. Okay. okay. Si no andan fotocopia, puede ser en su cuaderno. It can be on your notebooks, okay? Okay. Very good. Page 46, right? Página 46. La última parte eh, la van a hacer en forma de párrafo, ¿ok? No son oraciones. Van a hacer un pequeño párrafo de lo que ya hicieron en la actividad anterior, ¿ok? Ya no van en cuadritos tampoco. Ahora vaya como una como en forma de párrafo, ¿ok? In paragraph form. Teacher, yes, tell how, me. Do you, how do you say it's colonia? Um, mm. You can say colonia, okay, because you could say neighborhood, but a neighborhood it's like for, for, okay. for another purpose, okay? So you can say colonia, you don't have to translate that. Eso no se traduce okay. si es una dirección, okay? Uh -huh. sí. okay. Uh, tell me the, the address, please. Dime la dirección, quiero escuchar. I want to listen. Uh, new Street. Uh, number 23, 28, uh, Colonia Escalón. Yeah, it's Escalon. a Colonia. Yeah, it's okay. No, uh -huh. Colonia, it's okay. Colonia okay. Escalón. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Teacher. Tell me. And we are going to start with, I have a problem or good evening or like some. Weird. No, no, it's, it's not a conversation. It's not a conversation. Just specify the problem. Solo especifiquen el problema. Ya vamos a hacer la conversación. Tranquilos, okay. Okay? okay? Just specify the problem. Solo hay que especificar el problema. I have a problem with the laptop, for example. Or I have trouble with my cell phone. No sé si escribieron el cell phone, ¿ok? Ah, so please, when you finish, raise your hands, okay? Cuando terminen, van a reacciones y levantan la mano, por favor. And you raise your hands, please. When you finish. How can I say, no funciona? Funciona. Work. You say work. You use the verb ah, okay. work. Vamos a usar el verbo work. Remember. It does not work. No funciona. It works. Funciona, okay?
I will give you uh, five more minutes for this, okay? Le voy a dar cinco minutos más. Five more minutes for this. Okay, two more minutes, two minutes more, two more minutes. Two more minutes for this. Did you finish, Rafa? Okay, excellent. Very good.
Well, time is over. How are you doing? ¿Cómo van? El tiempo se acabó, pero ¿cómo van? How are you doing? About to finish? A punto de terminar? About to finish? Yes? No? Ok, if you have one complaint, that's ok. All right? Si solamente tienen um, in the last part, right? En la última parte, in the last part. If you have only one um, equipment, one piece of equipment and three complaints, it's okay. Si ya tienen al menos um, un equipo o un artículo y tres problemas de ese equipo, tres quejas, perdón, that's enough. Eso es suficiente. That's enough. Okay? Yes? Tienen eso yes. al menos? Do you have that at least? One item and three complaints. Un artículo y tres quejas. Okay? Yeah? Yes. Ok, now pay attention carefully. Pongamos atención cuidadosamente. Pay attention carefully to this. Now listen. The idea in this moment is for you to work in pairs. Van a trabajar en parejas. And you are going to um, make, you are going to make or create a conversation similar to this one, ok? Similar to this one. Van a crear una conversación como esta más o menos. But please, use the problem you have. Usen los problemas que tienen en el formulario. Use the problems you have on your form. ¿Ok? ¿De acuerdo? So take turns. Yes, Toman turnos. ¿Ok? Primero uno es IT department. Y luego en la segunda vez el otro es IT department. ¿Ok? Example. ¿Cómo les podría quedar, por ejemplo? Imagine, imagínense que yo el problema que elegí fue con mi cell phone. For example. ¿Ok? With my cell phone. Con mi celular. With, with my cell phone, okay? So I say, imagínense que yo lo hago con el Nilsson. El Nilsson me va a decir, thank you for calling the IT department. Y yo le voy a decir, hello, my name is Bernardo Martinez and I need to file a complaint about my cell phone, okay? I repeat, repito, ¿cómo le va a quedar? Hello, my name is Bernardo Martinez And I need to file a complaint about my cell phone. ¿Acerca de qué? De mi celular. Porque voy a cambiar y voy a usar los problemas que yo tengo. O las quejas que yo tengo. ¿Ok? And I continue. Okay. Y me dice el Nilsson, I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Aquí en esta partecita donde el Nilsson me dice, please describe the problem. Por favor, describe el problema. Aquí voy a poner las quejas que tengo. For example, my cell phone does not work. I have a frozen screen, for example, okay? Or what? The, the, the power button doesn't work. El, el botón de encendido no, no funciona. The power button doesn't work. Y luego me va a decir el Nilsson, let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no, a new cell phone, sorry. We can send a new cell phone in, new, in, in no time, okay? If you le voy a thank you. Y él me dice, you are welcome. ¿Se entiende qué van a hacer? Is it clear what you have to do? Yes. So you are yes. going to work in pairs. Van a personalizar la conversación y van a usar la información que tienen en su formulario. ¿Ok? ¿De acuerdo? Okay. You have seven yes. minutes for this. Tenemos siete minutos para esto. We have seven minutes for this. So try to do it fast, please. Tratemos de hacerlo un poco rápido. Try to do it a little fast. Ok, let's go and work. Vamos entonces a trabajar. Let's go and work. Practice the conversation, please. La practican. Practice, please.
Ahora, sí. Thank you. Thank you for calling the AT department. Hello. I am Alejandra Portillo. I would like to report a problem with my laptop. Okay, este, my name is Sara Flores. Please describe the problem. I have a problem with my computer, sorry. It makes a strange noise. And sometimes it is slow and the screen is frozen. I try to turn off and turn on, but, I, but it doesn't work. I think probably could be a virus that it has. <laughs> Muchas cosas. <laughs> Compré otra nueva. <laughs> um, Buy another one. Buy another <laughs> computer. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ahorrar. <laughs> save. You can say save. Save. I'm going to save the money for buy another computer. Thank you for your help. For help me. <laughs> <laughs> what a help, que ayuda, verdad? What a help. <laughs> oh, me, rápido, me decían a mi ayuda. Okay, again, it's my turn. Hello, IT department. Hello, I am Sara Flores. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Salmayala, and I need to fill a complaint about uh, two problems. Uh, my printer and my laptop. My laptop. I'm sorry. To hear I that, please describe the problem. My printer is make noise. It doesn't turn on and it's a straw and my laptop it's frozen screen it's the ucb or out of order and and it's a strong noise uh, let me send some which i can play for we can say a new com a uh, laptop mm -hmm. In, in printer. In printer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, are you welcome? Otra vez. Okay. Uh, thank, for, thank you for calling the its department. Hello, my name is Salmayala. And I need to feel a complaint about my work and two problems, my printer and my laptop. Sería entonces, eh, view the screen, creo. Hey, teacher, how do you say no me enciende la pantalla? The screen does not turn on. The screen does not turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Okay. Entonces, Rafael sería the screen, the no, does the not, oh, does the, not, does not. Oh, sí, like this. Sí, va, sí lo escribí. Does not. The screen does not turn on. 
Turn on. Let's not turn on. Turn on, exactly. Let's be send some white a complaint for we can send a new comfort in on in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. Uh, so welcome back. Um, terminaron todos o no han terminado aún? They, you haven't finished yet. Yes. Yes. I okay. finish. You finish. Very good. Okay. Anyways, uh, mm -hmm. okay. En caso que no hayan terminado, so aquí tengo ya los, los nombres de las de, de qué equipo estaban y con quién estaban. Okay, en mi libreta de, de apuntes. Así que mañana le voy a dar un espacio de unos cinco minutos. Perdón, el lunes. El oh, lunes. Monday. Monday, oh my goodness. Ya estoy que mañana termino con ustedes, ¿verdad? Muy bien, el, el lunes le voy a dar un espacio de unos cinco minutos con la misma persona, pero por favor traten de conectarse temprano porque si no su compañero no va a hallar con quién trabajar y su compañero ya trabajó con usted. Pero ¿qué sí, pasa, sí. por ejemplo, si... Eh, si Carlos se conecta tarde y estaba con Liz, ¿verdad? Entonces Liz no va a poder trabajar en eso. Entonces tratemos de, ese día tratemos de conectarnos temprano para que podamos trabajar con, con el compañero que trabajamos hoy porque es lo primero que vamos a hacer en la clase, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Les voy a dar unos cinco minutos al inicio de la clase entonces el lunes para que se preparen y practiquen y luego van a presentar, ¿ok? ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Muy bien. Ok, solo recordar nada más, eh, para el día lunes eh, prácticamente tenemos la finalización del módulo y ya saben, ¿verdad? El el, lo que les pido siempre. Para, para el día lunes, a más tardar, antes de la sesión, debemos haber completado los ejercicios de la sección número 4 y el final term y el examen final. ¿Ok? Dos cosas. Las tareas de la, de la sección número 4 y el examen final, el sí. final uh, term, ¿ok? The final exam, ¿ya? Yeah? ¿De acuerdo? Yes. yes. Ok, ok, then, uh, solo eso nada más de aviso. Thank you very much for connecting today. Have a good weekend and good night. Tenga un buen fin de semana y buenas noches. Good night. Good Thank night. you. Ok, bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sara, se cae, shower, creo, Take a shower. Okay, good night, teacher. Good night. Take a shower and I need some Rafa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sara. So this space is for you. Este espacio es para ti. Así que adelante. Yo tengo dudas. Eh, cuando estamos hablando en present continuo, en eh, she, he, he, it. En it. Okay, ¿cuál es la duda específicamente? Este, yo sé que es is, ¿verdad? Cuando nos referimos a ellos. Exacto. Cuando pero, es... Ajá. Ajá, pero cuando es negativo, no sé si sería doesn't o is. Oh, good question. Bueno, o es de las dos. No, 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 es diferente. Sí, porque hubo unas preguntas o en unas oraciones cuando estábamos con los compañeros, ellos a veces decían isn't o a veces doesn't. No, no, yeah, yeah, you're right. It isn't, okay? Si estamos usando el he, okay, let me get the pencil. Voy a sacar aquí el puntero. Uh, si estamos con el he, 
con el chi o con el it, que es tercera persona del singular, en negativo vamos a decir isn't. Ok, for example, she isn't working. She isn't working tonight. Ella no está trabajando esta noche. O ella no trabajará esta noche. Ok, she isn't working tonight. Ok, uso el isn't. Ajá, para el he también y para el it. Igual si estoy usando un nombre de, 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 de alguien, de, de, de un chico, si yo digo, por ejemplo, Lenilson isn't, voy a decir siempre isn't. O si digo Irma, Irma isn't. O en vez de it, podría decir the computer. The computer isn't working. La computadora no está funcionando. The computer en vez de it, ¿verdad? Todos esos tres son tercera persona de singular. Así que uso el isn't para negativo, isn't. ¿Ok, Sara? ¿De acuerdo? Ok, pero siempre cuando es presente continuo. Exactly, cuando es when present continuous, cuando es otro tiempo es diferente. ¿Y cuando es they, you, we, we are? Oh, eh, are. Mm -hmm. So when is a uh, we, let me get the black color. When it's we, you, and they, vamos a usar in negative, right? In negative, right? En negativo. Uh -huh. yes. Aren't. Vamos a usar aren't. Aquí va con apóstrofe. Y like this, aren't. For example, we aren't working today. We aren't working tomorrow. No vamos a trabajar mañana. We aren't working tomorrow. Or they aren't. They aren't listening to the teacher. Ellos no están escuchando. Okay? They aren't listening. Y para el I, uso el am. Así como el verbo to be cuando lo estudiaron en el presente en su momento. I am. I am working tonight. I am uh, visiting some family, so, some relatives tomorrow. I am visiting some relatives tomorrow, for example, ¿ok? ¿Y en negativo? ¿Ahí cómo sería? En... Pueden ser dos formas. Podría decir, I am not. Podría ser la forma más corta que sería I'm not. I'm not working today. No, es, no estaré trabajando hoy. I'm not working today. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos okay. claros? ¿We clear? Sí, yeah, ahí sí. Como el sí, agua. Sí, porque eso me tenía. Ok, excelente. Very good. Sí. Está bien, no hay problema. Excelente. Quiero ver, tenía otra por aquí anotadita, pero ya no me acuerdo. Búscala, no hay problema. Tienes tiempo. You have time. No, de los verbos sí me quedó. Claro. Ah, hay un verbo que usted dijo que cuando eran... Dos, ay, ¿cómo se dice? Dos consonantes, no, una consonante se le agregaba otra consonante. Ah, era la regla. Ajá. Esa Pero regla. para poner ING, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, para poner ING. Ok, very good. Sí, cuando tenemos un verbo, ok, let me get the board again. Voy a buscar la pizarra otra vez. Let me get the board again. Yes. So, uh, cuando tenemos un verbo, que, que lleve consonante, vocal, consonante, le duplicamos la última consonante, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, el verbo get. Pues si le ponemos ING, decimos getting. Bernardo, ¿pero por qué le duplicamos la última consonante? Porque lleva consonante, vocal, consonante. Se le duplica la última consonante, ¿ok? Get. Por ejemplo, el verbo put. Put. Ver, si te fijas, put tiene consonante, vocal, consonante. ¿Qué voy a hacer? Para poner ING, le duplico la última consonante, putting. ¿Ok? Dig, por ejemplo. Dig es como cavar. Consonante, vocal, consonante, digo. Digging, que es como cavando, haciendo un hoyo. ¿Ok? Sí, ok. Sí, sí, ya no tengo más.
Esta la es la pinche, en la que me quedaba es? así como en el aire, sí. Ah, ok. The most important sí. is that you have a pee right now. Yes. Ah, bueno, si me puede hacer una diferencia de los precios continuos cuando es del momento. Bueno, el de antes sí, sí le entendí cuando era. Three uses, de... right? El primero es el, un evento futuro, a future futuro. event, uh -huh. un plan, uh -huh. okay, a future event. For example, I am working on Saturday or, to, or on uh -huh. Sunday, for example. I am working on Sunday. Es un evento futuro, un plan, okay? Uh -huh. I am working on Sunday. Voy a trabajar el domingo. I am working. Para estos días es la otra forma. Perdón, mm -hmm. primero vamos para este momento. I mm -hmm. am explaining the differences uh, of the present continuous right now. I am explaining the, difference be the differences between the present continuous right now. Te estoy explicando las diferencias, right? Es un ejemplo. I am explaining the differences right now. Te estoy explicando las diferencias ahorita, en este momento, in this moment, okay? Y el último uso es acciones en progreso. Es decir, actividades que estoy haciendo estos días o dijimos actividades temporales, temporary activities, que sería algo que estoy haciendo temporalmente. Por ejemplo, I am studying English. Estoy estudiando inglés, es algo temporal, es something temporary, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Sí, pero no hay necesidad de a veces decir this day, ¿verdad? O sea... Dependiendo mm. de quizás cómo vaya la conversación, a veces depends, no va a ser necesario. Yeah. It depends on the context. Depende del contexto en el que esté hablando. Si el contexto se entiende, no debo decirlo. Por ejemplo, en este mm. caso, I am studying English. Yo ya sé que es estos días, ¿verdad? El contexto se presta para no usar la expresión mm. de tiempo. Ok. Yeah. Solamente eso sería. Ok. Thank you for connecting them. Thank you for staying. Gracias por quedarte la sesión uno a uno. Okay. Gracias a usted. Okay, thank you. And good night. Good night. Okay, bye. take care. Bye bye. Have a good weekend. Tengo un buen fin de semana. Gracias. Okay. Bye bye.